What is going on YouTube? It's that time of the month again, the first Friday of the month, and I didn't do anything really in between the months besides sell some bulk, but we got some parts organized a bit. We are going to work in that back section, and we're going to put a four-way intersection there. We're going to put some tiling back there and change the fences and a mountain in that corner, and over here I'm determined to find the switch track I need to start that project. Starting off in the mountain corner here over in the uh, Diagon Alley shop corner here i built this on a 16 by 16 plate nothing fancy at all just some bricks and uh one burp up at the top there a bench and a street light for just some look there and this just drops right into there and really closes that corner off pretty nice in my opinion it'll look better once the rest of the mountain is in place and that is all covered up by rock for the train tunnel the tiling i'm going to rip up right now and switch some of the fences to gold but yeah, this light bluish gray tile is going to get switched out to dark. And then there's going to be a line of light on both the beginning and the end. Kind of just enclosing the dark little walkway there. It's going to look, I think, better. So let's get ripping this tile up. Figured I finally used that GoPro I got. And man, let me tell you, I kind of forgot how to like, rip up tile. I was using a brick separator, but still, it was a pain in the rear end there to rip up all that tile and then put down some new one. Well, putting on a new tile wasn't that bad. It's actually pretty, pretty easy. But the ripping up... I used that brick separator right there, that teal one, and it was not ideal, but it looked pretty good. I think the finished product for one section was pretty good. There is that one spot right there by the detective's office, but if I put a different modular there, like Town Hall, it would probably look better. It would just, you know, it would more flow into the sidewalk, but for now, let's just do the rest of them, and I think it's going to come out pretty well. And back to the old brick separator here again. I think I switched up to that black one, the bigger one there, after I rip up some of those gates. But yeah, the black one. And it's just, they were not coming off. I don't know what it is, if it's humidity down here in the basement, but these things were like just extra tiled on there. But yeah, once you get them off, it's really simple. The tiling pattern I had to figure out there with that other little section and line it up a few times and square it off. But once it's all lined up, squared up, ready to go, it's tile, tile, tile. And then there's one more section to go. And again, the brick separator was not my friend today. But I think I figured it out by the end. I think I was using it the wrong side up. But you put it the right side up, it works pretty much better. So way to figure that out at the end. But the finished product is worth it, in my opinion. I didn't have enough gold gates to go all the way around. I had to use some of those other gates there. But I actually did have a curve, too. I wasn't sure last episode if a curve came in gold. And uh, I think Minifig Collector said it does come in gold. So I appreciate that. I actually, I actually had, like, three of them in gold in my bin. So... There's that. But yeah, these gold gates here. I don't know what to do on the top, what color to put on the top of the fences. Maybe gray? I don't know, not gray. I don't know. Let me know what you think for color on top of the fences. Oh, and I found the right road piece for this section right here. So the turnaround has that cut in to make it look somewhat better. And speaking of road pieces, we're going to actually make another one of these four-way intersections for the layout again. So again, I do these brick-built roads on like a mill, not a mills plate. They're just, they're brick-built roads. And I do put in spots to use Technic pins eventually, but I never actually use the Technic pins to like keep them all together. Probably should, but I don't. But anyway, this road is going to be a four-way intersection, which, spoiler alert, I actually don't need the four-way intersection for the spot. I want to put this in. I need a three-way intersection, like with a sidewalk on one end. It's an easy fix, but I messed it up. But whatever. I do, if you see there, I do put the friction pin holes on the side right there as well just in case i did want to use them i have them both on both sides there i don't do it up on the top but yeah the brick built roads are really good looking i think they're they do eat a lot of parts so you need to have a lot of parts think like go through a lot of bulk bins but i think they look better than the base plates and i think they look better than the new road system because the new road system is not good in my opinion for what it's worth but yeah here's your brick built four-way intersection right there some tiling and some bricks on its side it's pretty easy once you figure out how to do it it's just a lot of parts which does stink and if you remember that spoiler alert that's the one i based it off of and that's the one i built and you can see there i i forgot i needed like to have the sidewalk there so i'm gonna have to fix that it'll be easy fix i'll just get some plates and just make a sidewalk not a big deal or i'll just build another one together because i do probably need more eventually I need more curves too but that's a different episode now I am determined to find a 9-volt switch track for the 180. This is my big bin of track that I have that I never ever sort. But now I'm going to sort it between RC and 9-volt track. And I did find the one I needed, the switch track. I don't know if it's left or right. I, just, I know which one it is. It's, it's needed, and I found it, and now this is somewhat organized, so that's good. 
And here is the switch track all down there. I had to actually use a lot of tile because I didn't realize the, the underneath of the switch track doesn't really just flop onto studs. So I had to use a lot of tiling there to, to get it to seat properly or fit properly because it actually was lifted up in one spot and it was actually derailing the Santa Fe car here. Which, fun story here, I was running the Santa Fe, running around the track, and you can see there, it comes back without the car I had attached to it. It got stuck on that cord back there. Super blurry, but it got stuck on that. With the switch track down, though, I am ready to start working on the rest of that line to get that all uh, ballasted up. That's the word. Forgot about it, but that'll be next time, hopefully. So that'll do it for this video. We worked back there. I got to fix that with some sidewalk, but... It's all progress, right? Got a bunch of road plates still to put down. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Appreciate you guys watching, as always. And don't forget to let me know what color to put on that gold railing. Bye now.